Tonight, we are learning more about the investigation into the deaths of a young activist and a community volunteer. Police say the bodies of Vicki Sims and Olawatoyan Salu were found here on Monday Road, not far from Orange Avenue and North Blairstone Road. ABC 27's Jada Williams is following this story tonight, and she joins us live from that neighborhood. Ava, as you can imagine, this news comes as a shock not only to the families of the victims, but the people living here on Monday Road. This house behind me is where both of those bodies were found. And despite our request for more information from the Tallahassee Police Department, they're giving out very little. But here's what we do know. Tallahassee police are now working to piece together what led to the deaths of 19-year-old Aluatoy and Salu and 75-year-old Vicki Sims. TPD says Salu was last seen June 6th. That same day, the 19-year-old wrote on social media that she had been sexually assaulted. Activists who had recently protested with Salu across Tallahassee formed a multi-day search for her. It's reassuring to know that we have members of our community who are willing to participate in events that don't necessarily affect them. As the search for Oluwatoy and Salu continued, 75-year-old Vicki Sims was reported missing on June 11th. Sims was known to many in Tallahassee for always stepping up to help her community. She volunteered with the Tallahassee AARP, who posted on Facebook, Vicki worked tirelessly to improve the lives of others as a dedicated advocate for older Americans, a committed volunteer for AARP. Sadly, both of those searches would end Saturday night when officers found their bodies inside a home on Monday Road. 49-year-old Aaron Glee Jr. now faces charges in their death. Glee was arrested in Orange County. TPD has not said if or when he will be return to Leon County. Now, uh, we have been told, we have also not been told what a possible motive could have been in these murders. Reporting live in Tallahassee, Jada Williams, ABC 27.